Welcome back to the Hot Skillet. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make perfect scrambled eggs. And when I mean perfect, I mean creamy, velvety, smooth, delicious. And I'm even going to put a little bit of blue crab in there just to top it off. You don't want to miss this. Now for this recipe, obviously the fresher your eggs, the better it's gonna turn out. Now I just happen to have some beautiful fresh eggs in my backyard. I'll be right back. Backyard chickens are a lot of fun. They come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes, and they each have their own unique personality. Aside from keeping the grass short and virtually eliminating insects from your property, they also provide healthy, nutritious eggs, much richer in vitamins, fats, and protein than regular store-bought eggs, and they taste great. Okay. Okay, I need you to move out of the way. All right, I got my fresh eggs, let's get started. First thing, egg breaking school. If you take the side of a bowl or the side of a pan to crack your eggs, it's gonna get eggshell in the egg. So what you wanna do is crack it on a flat surface. Okay, so just like this. All right, now my chickens are very well fed, which means that their eggs are thicker than normal and sometimes they're a little harder to break than regular store-bought eggs. So you gotta give them a good whack. Okay, flat surface. All right, and flat surface. Look at these beautiful yellow eggs. Man, it does not get fresher than this. Now, you may notice that I'm using a little sauce pot instead of a pan, and that's because the way I'm gonna make these scrambled eggs is sort of gonna be like a custard, okay? I'm gonna keep stirring them, and I'm not gonna stop until this is done. All right, so I have my hot pan over here. Now, my eggs, I'm gonna add the butter right into the eggs. I'm not scrambling them first. I'm not putting any salt and pepper in them first. I'm just putting the butter in the eggs and in the pan, they'll go. Just like that, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start going round and round and round and round, just like this, okay? All right, now as soon as you see a little bit of smoke rise, take it off the flame, so just lift it up just a little bit, okay? Now I'm keeping spinning, I'm keeping going, okay? Again, now right now I'm not touching down, All right, so I put it back down on the stove just for a couple of seconds. Notice I have not stopped moving. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So this is gonna be really nice and velvety smooth and creamy because I am not going to stop. That butter and the egg yolk have all mixed together to make something that's really nice and smooth. Almost there, almost there. I've been saying that for the last two minutes, haven't I? Okay, so I've been doing this for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Okay, just putting the egg down for maybe seven seconds, 10 seconds at a time and lifting it up about six inches off the stove and I have not stopped moving these eggs around. Okay. All right, so now that I can see the eggs are right there, I am going to put it down on the stove just for another five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. I'm gonna lift up. All right, now that the eggs are fully cooked, what I'm gonna do, and I haven't stopped stirring this, is I'm gonna grab a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna take a spoonful of crab mixture. This happens to be uh, blue crab spread. You can buy it at most grocery stores. I bought mine at Costco, and I'm gonna mix it in here real quick. Now, if you don't have blue crab mix, or a blue crab spread, and by the way, what this is doing, since it's cold, it's actually stopping the eggs from cooking, okay? All right, look at these, velvety, smooth, and soft. I'm gonna add some chives. And I'm gonna put the salt and pepper in at the very end, okay? So I'll just touch down for one second, a little bit of salt, a little tiny bit of pepper, because all the flavor here is in the egg and the butter and the blue crab mix. All right, and here we go, ready to serve. Look at this. 
nice, velvety smooth, creamy, delicious, buttery, blue crabby eggs. Perfect breakfast, super easy to make, and I guarantee you these are the best eggs that you will taste. For more videos, recipes, blog articles, and fun food related things, please visit www.foodchaintv.com. And remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my videos. Your subscriptions help me make more videos. Until next time, see you later. This program is brought to you in part by Kenmore. Cookmore.com, a dash of inspiration, a taste that's all yours.